there, it's your girl Kelsey with Jones Gold and Luxury coming at you with another video. Today's video is going to be about five things that you should look for before buying a gold chain. The five key points that I'm going to go over focus primarily on targeting solid gold chains. However, it applies to all jewelry as well, such as hollow gold chains, formel, gold plated, etc. The five key points that I'm about to go over are not going to be listed in any particular priority. It truly just depends on you as an individual and what you think is most important. The first key point is style. There are so many different styles of jewelry. There are different colors of gold jewelry. You can get a mix between white gold, rose gold, yellow gold. There's even green gold. When it comes to gold chains in particular, there are so many different designs. Gosh, even at the top of my head, I can list Singapore chains, Franco's, Figro's, Miami Cubans, the list goes on and on. When it comes to style, you also have to pay attention to the width of the chain and the length. I'm going to be doing a separate video that discusses different chain lengths to kind of give you an idea of what would be best for you. I highly recommend getting a flexible tape measure or a string so you can find out what size or length is best for you. The width of a chain also matters. Maybe when you're in your 20s, you want a 10 millimeter Miami Cuban. Gold is very heavy, so that's going to weigh quite a bit on your neck. And when you're in your 70s, you're probably not going to want to wear that chain. So if you're going to be dropping a lot of money on a chain, make sure it's something that can last you a lifetime and that will always be classy and something that you can pass down to the next generation. Some people prefer smaller chains. Others prefer larger and more statement pieces. I notice men in particular tend to want these really large statement piece chains. And then when they start hitting their late 30s and get to their 40s, they start really changing their style. So that's something to can take into consideration. The second key point is quality. Every business has a different type of quality when it comes to their jewelry. Just because it's more affordable doesn't mean it's necessarily the best quality. Quality can also include the type of gold chain. For example, a gold plated chain won't last as long as a solid gold chain. So make sure you do some research on that and figure out, would you rather go the affordable route for something that you can upgrade later or go ahead and save up for a nice solid gold chain? I definitely think quality is key. You don't wanna buy something that will break within a couple weeks, etc. Hang on there, before we get to the third key point, are you subscribed to the channel? Did you know that most people watching this video are not subscribed to Jones Gold and Luxury? Go ahead and subscribe below and put on your notifications so you're notified when the next video is uploaded. And if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to leave it a like. The third key point is customer service. Gold is not cheap. It's very expensive. And so when you're buying a fine jewelry piece, you should always be working with a business that you know has your best interest in mind. You want to make sure that you're being taken care of as a customer. The last thing you want to endure is someone very rude or condescending when you're trying to look for a really fine piece that you've worked really hard to save up for. For example, you don't want to go with a business that treats you like the small guy because they've got other customers spending a lot more money than you are. Your hard earned money is just as important as somebody else's. Choose a business that you know will provide you the best customer satisfaction. The fourth key point is gram weight according to price. You obviously want a good deal and you want the best price according to gram weight. Now, there's also a flip side to this. If you see any jewelry being sold for spot price of gold, steer clear because that's likely to be a scam. It is nearly impossible for a business to make any profit if they're selling gold jewelry at spot price, simply because there are so many costs to running a business, such as website fees, shipping fees, custom brokerage fees, labor cost, transaction fees, the list goes on and on. Therefore, just be very careful. And sometimes you get what you pay for. So maybe you're getting a good deal, but the quality is missing, the customer service is missing, 
there could be a whole bunch of things that are missing. So just be very careful when it comes to price. Something else to take into account is gram weight. For example, you can have two businesses with the exact same chain, but one is more affordable than the other. But something that you don't pay attention to in the details is the gram weight. So the cheaper business can weigh 10 to 15 grams less than this other business that costs where the chain costs slightly a bit more. In the end, the business that has the more expensive chain may actually be giving you a better deal per gram of gold because their chain weighs 10 to 15 grams more. And in the long run, the value of gold over many, many years will go up and hopefully cover the premium that you pay for on the jewelry. So these are just small things to consider that there's more to it and make sure to read the fine details and the overall gram weight of the chain. There's definitely a balance between price, customer service, and quality. Lastly, number five is carrot. I would say carrot of gold is probably the least important out of all of the five key points. However, you should know what carat of solid gold you're wanting to purchase. For example, if you buy a 24 carat gold chain, you're gonna be spending a ton of money and then it scratches and it has some kind of denting and it really upsets you, that would be such a bummer. So make sure to do some research to find out what carat of solid gold is best for you. If you're looking for something a lot more durable and a lot more affordable, go with 10 carat. If you're looking between durability and high carat, maybe go the 18 carat route or meet in the middle and go 14 carat. Today, I'm wearing a solid 18 carat Franco chain from Jones Gold and Luxury. On the JGL website, it's listed as the dragon scale chain. That's because literally Francos from a certain angle look like dragon scales. I have to say that the Franco chain is my second favorite chain of all time. It's just so durable, such a classy look and very comfortable to wear. If you're interested in looking for a Franco chain for yourself, go to jonesgoldenluxury.com. That's it for today's video. I hope this video helped you narrow down some of the things that you should be thinking of before buying a gold chain. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Jones Gold Luxury. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay golden.